Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for taking the time to keep us some company for Tuesday's edition of BTW 21 News. Luis from Arguini, we hope that you have enjoyed your week so far. You know, we're counting down the days. Graduations will be here before we know it. A lot that we have to get to, so let's cut right into the chase. We're going to start off with Martinsville's most wanted list. It's that time of the month already. Again, we're going to be bringing this uh, every month in partnership with the Martinsville Police Department. And for this month, there was only one person added. The Martin Police Department, of course, needs your help in locating the fugitives that I'm going to be listing in just a second. We have the steal of the first edition and the police department says I want to remind you that fugitives should be considered dangerous and you should never attempt to approach apprehend or arrest them yourself. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. The addition and the person that you be seeing you have been seeing for a little bit is a 49 year old Charles Aaron and he's wanted for the felony probation violation third offense. The following people are wanted from previous list, 29-year-old Montel Carter for a probation violation, that's a felony, 58-year-old John Lindsay, probation violation, three felony offenses, 37-year-old Jeffrey Porter, distributed cocaine, second offense, possession of a firearm with a scheduled one or two drug, and a felony offense of FTA. 34-year-old Tasha Lee Wellen for embezzlement, third offense. 66-year-old James Bungie, the second probation violation felony, and that's his seventh offense. 37-year-old Joshua Young for failing to appear, that's a second offense, with a driving while intoxicated shoplifting charge. 46-year-old Amanda Martin for the fifth offense of felony probation violation and probation violation misdemeanor, her first offense. 31-year-old Malcolm Fernandez, probation violation penalty, second offense, and probation violation misdemeanor, second offense. 40-year-old Enrico Grant for distributing Schedule one or two drugs, his third offense. Amy Sherwood failed to appear felony offense. 37-year-old Ashley Horton for probation violation penalty, her third offense. And finally, 36-year-old Michelle Drain for probation violation, her eighth offense, and probation violation misdemeanor, her second offense. If you see any of these subjects or you have information regarding their whereabouts, you're asked to contact the Martins Police Department. Their number is 276-403-5300 or the Crump Suppers Program at 276-632-7463 or the Martins of Henry County 911 Center at 276 276- 6388751 police say that you will not be asked for your name and no one will try to identify you if your information leads to an arrest of one of these or multiple people you may be eligible for an award shifting gears now to news in Henry County where the public service authority has approved their budget for the fiscal year 2023-2024 and that was done during a regular meeting on Monday. The budget is approximately $15 million and includes no changes to rates for the 10th year in a row according to officials. Overall, the FY24 budget increased over $3 million from the current year and it includes approximately $5 million for capital improvements and debt services. PSA employees will receive a 5% pay increase on July 1st and the organization will continue working with Henry County to implement the results of a pay and classification study conducted within the last year is what we're told according to a press release. Included in the budget is a recommendation to finance the annual debt service and operating costs to guarantee water rights for 3 million gallons per day from Philpot Lake as a part of a study conducted by the U.S. Corps of Engineers. The projected cost to guarantee rights for the 3 million gallons per day is over $800,000, close to $900,000, which will be financed through the U.S. Corps of Engineers, according to that press release. Annual operating costs associated with the project would amount to $85,000. Other funds in the budget would address a number of capital items, including water 
system rehabilitation, a track loader for infrastructure maintenance, sewer inflow and infiltration, and a primary engineering board to consider expanding water lines along Old Liberty Drive, Spruce Street, and Mount Oliver Road. Now, for more information on the matters that were discussed, you can head on over to btw21.com and click on that article. Of course, you have to talk about some more good news, and that is uh, that the awards for Grove, Martinsville, and Henry County happened uh, last week, and we want to make sure that you know about the businesses that were awarded some money to, again, start up in our community. The Chamber's Partnership for Economic Growth, also known as CPEG, recognized its 2023 startup Martinsville and Henry County graduates, as I mentioned to you recently, and uh, they completed, these individuals, they graduated, completed the Success Mindset, an extensive eight-week entrepreneur boot camp program for startups. The training component is provided by Patrick and Henry Community College in partnership with CPEG, Longwood Small Business Development Center, Martinsville Henry County Economic Development Corporation, staff from the city and county, and local entrepreneurs, several who are graduates of the program, which began as a community business launch grant through the Virginia Department of Housing and Community Development. The program has since expanded from a small footprint in Uptown Martinsville to the entire city of Martinsville Henry, and Henry County, thanks to generous support from the Campbell Family Group LLC, is what a press release stated. Partners that support this important CPA economic development initiative include the city of Martinsville, Henry County, Campbell Family Foundation, George W. Lester II Fund, and the anonymous fund through the Community Foundation serving Western Virginia in a three-grant tobacco region revitalization commission for specific industry sectors. With the graduates and wards, the initiative has had 266 graduates awarded 54 businesses with over $350,000 in cash and in-kind funding. This group will build on the accomplishments of startup and grow MHC businesses that have created over $3.5 million in new capital investment and created 190 new jobs while maintaining an 87% success rate in comparison to the nationwide 50% average of small businesses. Our participants receive training at no cost to them, and participants who open a business will receive a one-year free membership in the Martins and Henry County Chamber of Commerce, is what we are told. This year's award recipients are as follows. K&E Caskets, LLC, receiving $3,000. Front Runner Logistics, LLC, receiving $4,300. Grill Fitness Training LLC, $5,400. J&H Market, receiving $3,200. MHC Elite, Elite Cheer and Dance, receiving $2,500. SWAM, $1,600. And those cash and in-kind rewards for the 2023 total, $20,000 for startup for start -up businesses. So a big congratulations to all of those individuals that put a lot of work to be able to get this type of funding. And of course, we should see uh, them opening uh, their doors if they have not already pretty soon. We're going to take a quick commercial break. There's more news to cover after these messages. Um, whose car are you in? It's our car. What do you mean? Where's the minivan? I mean, the minivan's gone because I just bought a brand new SUV at Autos by Nelson. Well, they gave us 120% of book value on the trade-in and double the warranty. Double wow. Autos by Nelson. Stop by any of our dealerships today or visit us online. Virginia. 
Our telephone number is 276-634-0010. Our hours of operation are Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., Saturday and Sunday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. We do offer time slots now, so you can call us and get that scheduled so you will not have to wait. Don't forget to come see us at Martins for Urgent Care, 1044 East Church Street, Martinsville, Virginia, 276-634-0010. Call us to get your time slot booked. Blue Ridge Aquaculture is hiring both full-time and part-time drivers. Home every other night. CDL, Class A, and two years of experience required. Must be at least 21 years of age with a good driving record. Excellent benefit package including medical, dental, vision, life, short-term disability, and long-term disability, and 401k. Apply online at www.blueridgeaquaculture.com or give us a call 276-632-9440 to make an appointment to apply in person at 555 Industrial Park Drive, Ridgeway, Virginia, 24148 during our normal business hours Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Do you need a tractor and loader, backhoe, excavator, compact track loader, or implements? Well, Freel Equipment has it. Freel Equipment can deliver to Roanoke, Bedford, Franklin, Henry County, and surrounding areas. Freel Equipment offers services to contractors, homeowners, farmers, quality equipment at affordable pricing. So give Freel Equipment a call at 540-420-3475. Happy Tuesday, everyone. It's your weather woman, Shania Dalton here. Thank you for tuning in into BTW 21 News forecast here on today. Happy Tuesday, everybody. I hope everyone is doing well. If not, I hope it gets a little bit better for you on today. Right now, 5 p.m. You see it's 72 degrees and coming up on at 8 p.m. is going to be 66 degrees and moving on to 11 p.m. is going to be 57. Sunset is going to be at 825 p.m. As you see this pattern continue at, with mild and dry weather and it's going to continue the next two days. Continuing on to Tuesday overnight forecast is going to be partly cloudy skies with some light winds. We've got some northeast winds coming in 5 to 10 miles per hour as you can see here. Um, 51 from Boone's Mill, 50 for Rocky Mount, 49 for Oak Level, 49 for Woolwine, 49 for Martinsville, 50 for Stewart, 50 for Ararat, and, 50, and 48, excuse me, for Ridgeway. As you see, we're going to be in the upper to lower 40s on tonight. It's the average around this time of year. So moving on to tomorrow. Wednesday's forecast is going to be mostly cloudy skies on tomorrow. The temperature is going to be similar to today. We're going to have those northeast winds um, at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Starting at the top again with Boone's Mill, it's going to be 76. Rocky Mount at 75. Oak Level, 74. Ararat 74, Stewart, Woolwine in, in that area is all going to be around 74. Martinsville is going to go up to 75 and Ridgeway as well. And lastly, going to the rating for Wednesday's forecast is very similar to today. It's going to be 75 degrees for the high, 51 for the low. I'm going to rate it again as for an 8. Like I said, we've been pretty dry and mild these next couple of days coming up. With the weekend coming up, it is more chance of storms or some light rain here and there, but um, we're keeping an eye up on it here, and we'll let you know sooner throughout the week about the graduations going on this weekend and this Memorial Day holiday. So I know everybody want to go outside and cook out, but you've got to watch for the rain coming in and out. But like I said, I am keeping an eye on that, and I'll let you know as soon as I know exactly where this storm is going. 
Um, but tomorrow, it's going to be mostly cloudy skies. Sunrise is going to be at 6.05 a.m. The winds are going to continue the northeast winds, 5 to 10 miles per hour. All right, just to wrap things up, it's going to be in the mid-70s on tomorrow. In the next couple of days until this weekend, and just go outside and enjoy it while you can. It's going to be a great week this week. You guys enjoy the rest of y'all's day, rest of y'all's day, and stay tuned for more local programming coming up next. Hi, my name is Dr. Kafer Zentmeyer here at Zentmeyer Chiropractic. It's our goal to create wellness in all areas of life here at Zentmeyer Chiropractic. We are a neurologically based, state-of-the-art facility in the beautiful Martinsville Henry County area. With our technique and our technology, we're able to get down to the root cause of any health concerns you may have and then correct them from inside out. We'd love for you to come by and check us out. We take care of personal injuries, car accidents, pregnant women, babies, and people of all ages. We love serving families through the principle of chiropractic care. So come on down to Zip My Chiropractic where we can help you remain in health as a lifestyle for a lifetime. So please come see us here at Zipmire Chiropractic. We are located here on the corner of Kings Mount Road and Virginia Avenue. Our address is 3652 Virginia Avenue in Collinsville, Virginia, and our phone number is 276-647-5555. Relationships, they are the most precious and important thing we have in life uncorrected or improperly corrected hearing loss negatively affects each and every one of those relationships. Did you know that you have hearing insurance benefits available to you? At Ashbrook Audiology, we are the region's go-to providers for benefits from affordable hearing care, true hearing, and many more. Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter, Martinsville and Danville. Hi, I'm Stephen Edwards, and I want you to start your summer off right with a new set of Michelin tires from Riverside Tire Service. From May the 17th until June the 16th, we're going to give you $110 off a set of Michelin tires. Stop by Riverside Tire for the best service, the best prices, the best people, and the best warranty in town. We've been here for 25 years now and we built a building that was bigger than what we needed when we, when we first started. We've just about filled that place now. One of the things that we really do is we value our employees. We know it takes a long time for them to learn the skills, but people's skills are hard earned. So we make sure that there is a job for them every day of the week, 52 weeks of the year. So even if we're quiet and we don't need people, a lot of businesses still lay people off, send people home. We don't do that. If you want to come to work, we will find you a job because we value the skills that you've learned with us and we want you to stay here and we want you to feel valued. And we want you as a family to go home and say, I'm always going to get a paycheck if I turn up to work for Drake. You're watching BTW21 News. Welcome back. It is now time for us to switch things over now to a quick commercial break. But before that, we're going to take a look at your crime report by Apex Bell Bonds. Chantel Harrison, 28, of Martinsville, Virginia, charged with reckless care for a child. Onisimo Lagunas, 45, of Bassett, Virginia, charged with bomb threat, etc., by offender 15 or over, and juvenile in domestic preliminary protective order. Justin Menifee, 34, of Martinsville, Virginia, charged with probation violation felony and cell schedule 1 or two drugs while possessing firearm. Glenn Milner, 70, of Martinsville, Virginia, charged with trespassing after being forbidden to do so and intoxication in public. Daniel Mitchell, 44, of Bassett, Virginia, 
charged with simple assault against a family member and strangling another causing wounding or injury. Cody Moorefield, 39, of Bassett, Virginia, charged with bail release on unsecured bond. Alicia Taylor, 34, of Martinsville, Virginia, charged with disobedience resistance of an officer of the court and probation violation felony. Hannah Thomas, 28, of Martinsville, Virginia, charged with bail release on unsecured bond. Slip up, you need a bondsman you can trust at your side. At Apex Bail Bonds in Martinsville, our agents are with you at every step, not just the day you bond out. Need affordable bail? You'll get the same low rates we offer in Danville and Reedsville. Apex Bail Bonds has the only bail bondsman around licensed on both sides of the Virginia Carolina line. Provides fast releases and affordable bail at the lowest rates allowed by law. Apex Bail Bonds, Martinsville, across from Checkered Pig, for the lowest rates allowed. Ra 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 ra. Pete, Christmas is over, son. I ain't talking about Christmas season, Dan the Man. I'm talking about tax season, aka car buying season. And PVT Inc. down there in Field Hill got 50 11 cars to choose from. They got big cars, they got small cars, they even got medium sized cars. My tax check was a little light this year, Pete. Well, that's okay too, Dan the Man, because they do finance. Like PVT Inc. on Facebook and ride by 4264 Appalachian Drive, Field Hill to view inventory. 50 11 more cars are coming in daily. Martinsville First Savings Bank has been serving Martinsville and Henry County since 1924. Feel free to stop by or call for more information on how our checking, savings, money market, and certificates of deposit can help you meet your financial goals. If you are tired of 800 numbers or online customer service, please contact us. We are local people making local decisions. Visit our office at 25 West Church Street in Uptown Martinsville or call 276 638 8771. Sova Health of Martinsville is a full service acute care hospital that has been at the heart of Martinsville, Henry County, and the surrounding region since it opened as Memorial Hospital of Martinsville and Henry County in June of 1970. The largest employer in the city of Martinsville. The Martinsville campus employs over 700 people, has over 100 physicians and allied health professionals, and provides over 22 medical specialties. Welcome back and thank you for sticking along with us as we thank some of our sponsors. Up next on our newscast is half hour news is your obituary report by Bassett Funeral Service. Leslie Wayne Mahan, age 82, passed away Saturday, May the 20th, 2023. Our graveside service will be held Thursday, May the 25th, 3 p.m. at Green Pond Baptist Church Cemetery. A visitation will be held prior to the service from 2.30 to 3 p.m. at the church. Noise Funeral Service in Chatham is serving the family. God, in his infinite wisdom, saw fit to call Evangelist Bill Vane Penn Wright from labor to reward Thursday, May the 18th, 2023. A homegoing celebration will be held Friday, May the 26th at 12 noon at Greater International Pentecostal Holiness Church, the Carver Assembly Building. 
the family will receive friends one hour prior to that service. Bassett Funeral Service is serving the family. Kermit Thurston by 86 of Martinsville, peacefully passed away Thursday, May the 18th, 2023. A celebration of his life will be held at Martinsville's Blue Ridge Public Library, June the 10th from 11 to 1 p.m. Wright Funeral Service is serving that family. Mary Williams, 58 of Patrick Springs, passed away Saturday, May the 20th, 2023. Services will be private. Wright Funeral Service and Crematory is serving the family. Online condolences may be made by visiting WrightFuneralServices.net. Harbors. Harbor Towing and Recovery is expanding. 4173 Virginia Avenue in Collinsville. Harbor now offers custom tire and wheels with advanced technology. Automotive repair? No problem for Harbor. From simple repair to major semi-trucks, Harbor's got you covered. Oil changes, brakes, front end alignment on any size vehicle or trucks. And remember, 24-hour towing. So you tell the police to call Harbor Towing, 276-632-2580. Bassett Funeral Service was founded in 1996 by Darrell B. Martin and Paul T. Kennedy, Jr. We started as a small funeral home in Bassett, and in 2007, we went to one of the largest funeral homes in Martinsville and Henry County. We started with 3,200 square feet, and in 2007, went to over 20,000. Bassett Funeral Service is located at 3665 Ferrystone Park Highway in the town of Bassett. 276-629-1770. A broken or cracked windshield can ruin a day. At Daniel's Auto Glass, it's our goal to make that unfortunate scenario as painless as possible. We have been servicing Franklin County and the surrounding area since 1995. Our customers are our neighbors and we want you to know that you have the choice who repairs or replaces your windshield. And if you can't come out to us, we can come out to you. We also offer window tinting and we are fully equipped and certified to reset all camera systems in any windshield, both in shop and with our mobile unit. Carlisle is an independent college preparatory school located in Axton, Virginia. Founded in 1968, the school sets the standard for excellence in education. At Carlisle, we provide a challenging, nurturing, safe learning environment where students are encouraged to reach their true potential in the classroom, on the stage, or in athletics. You can afford a Carlisle education. Are you looking for a fresh cut steak? Stop by the Sirloin House where we offer hand cut steaks daily. Enjoy our world famous sirloin tips or our chicken tips. We also offer fresh seafood and plate lunches that start at $7.99 for a meat and two. Come see us at 207 South Van Buren Road in Eden, North Carolina and follow us on Facebook for all our specials. Call us at 336-623-7778 for all your carry out or catering needs. That's going to wrap things up here for this uh, Tuesday edition of BTW 21 News. As always, we thank you very much for keeping us company. Head on over to btw21.com to stay updated when we're not on the air. We'll see you tomorrow. time it's the 31st annual big bird toy ride bike giveaway one in 500 chances of winning a kawasaki vulcan fully loaded so don't forget get your ticket today one in 500 chances of winning bike will be given away when all 500 tickets are sold or at the big bird toy ride november the 11th Tickets can be purchased at BTW21 at 934 North Memorial Boulevard. So get your ticket today for a chance to win this bike.